coming in and going out. We're unloading right there into the cart, same as we were doing with the beans. There's the corn going in. So underneath the corn head, there's little rollers underneath there that spin around and pull the, pull the plants down underneath. And as they're getting pulled down underneath, the cobs get stripped off and uh, what's left of the stalks and the leaves get chewed up in those lawnmower blades that you saw in, a, in one of the last videos. Right now, in this field, if you can see that, it's a little goofy looking, but um, right now our instant is 220, 217. This is a pretty good spot in the field. Uh, that's bushels per acre. There's our percentage of the corn coming in. Moisture is 19.8. On, on moisture, we got 76 and a half acres done. No, it's pretty good. We can go right through there. Got a guy talking on the radio here. There's our average is 193. That's the field average. That's bushels per acre. Pretty good in our area. We're hoping to have some fields do over 200. Um, this screen here is telling me a lot of the same stuff that the top one is, except uh, I can kind of get a better view on some of this. I like looking at this better. It's basically a Google Earth map. It shows you the field map here and what you've done. A lot nicer to look at, a little easier to work with. You can get your hybrid on there so you can see what kind of corn you're, you're harvesting and everything. I'll wait to turn it on until we get just past that. <clears throat> Here's our gauges. This is telling us stuff about what the header's doing, stuff about what's going on behind us, uh, and about the engine fuel temperature that kind of thing then we got this gauge down here it's kind of nice to work with it shows our bushels coming in and our moisture coming in we can reset and watch our acres here and the amount of pounds the uh, number of pounds we've harvested yeah um, I don't know what else a lot of it's basically the same as bean harvest so I'll try to get some uh, more videos when I think of some stuff that's gonna be interesting to you guys stuff that uh, is easy to get some video of and explain to you guys sometime I'll try to show you a little bit more about how the combine works try to give you a rundown on that we're gonna have a full cart here stick around let you guys watch that and it's gotten a lot easier to take videos and unload into a full cart now at the same time because we did get the auto steer going on this thing. I'll show you that in a second here. All good. We're going up a hill here. The corn's a little bit shorter on the hill, but um, it's got auto steer here. Switch to this page, we can set our zero mark. So it will follow that uh, every 20 feet because we got a 20 foot head. Um, and for the little bit of sway that the planter does, there's actually feelers right down on there that ride. You can kind of see those silver bars riding on the plants right there. And those feel out the rows. So when the row goes a little bit crooked, it wanders one way or the other, um, the machine will follow that. And it's been working really good. It's been really nice. So that allows you a little more, a little more uh, efficiency or a little more room so you can, you can watch for rocks and tiles and whatever else. Um, eat your lunch, take your YouTube videos, whatever else you want to do. So he's going to haul that up, put it in those trucks. We got the ripper going. See, he stopped up there, but we got that going this morning. Um, basically, kind of the same uh, theory as the beans that I went through before. There you can see those feelers. And it pulls the corn in there, the gathering chains kind of sweep it up. It hits those stripper plates and knocks the cobs off, shreds the rest of the plant underneath, and the auger pulls it in underneath us here. Once it gets underneath and through behind us, it gets to the rotor. Basically, the rotor spins it around, and you can adjust, you can adjust your rotor speed here and your threshing clearance. Um, the, speed, the speed will adjust how fast that, that uh, rotor is going behind us, and the clearance will adjust how tight the concaves are around, around what it's threshing. And then this is your cleaning fan speed here. It's got a big fan that kind of blows some of the trash away. 
this would be your chaffer and your sips so that's what actually separates the uh, kernels from the from the cops you can see it coming in here <clears throat> this will hold um, probably 250 270 bushels I think it's somewhere in there that'll fill up in there and uh, there's the ripper going there yeah I don't have a whole lot more um, we should have a couple weeks of good going here and um, I'll try to get some more video of things that I think you guys might find interesting because this is a pretty fun time of the year so stay tuned and um, for those of you who just follow Facebook or Instagram and aren't on YouTube you can head over to YouTube and look for MN Millennial Farmer uh, there's a lot of videos on there that I don't post to Instagram or Facebook um, so you can go on there and watch the videos uh, I would encourage you to make a YouTube account and become a subscriber, but it doesn't matter as long as you're watching the videos. That's cool. Um, what else? Yeah, if you're only on YouTube, head over to Instagram and Facebook and uh, become a fan. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll get some more videos out soon.